Welcome back. Many of us use some type of office program on our computers in our everyday lives, but perhaps we don't know all the features available on these programs. Not a problem, because our tech host, Abid, is going to fill us in. Hey, how's it going? I'm doing good, Catherine. How are you doing? Good. I'm excited for this. I think it's going to be a really useful segment, for oh, sure. Today's show is going to be really interesting, and yeah. I urge everybody to just pay, pay close attention to this, because it's going to be really informative. All right, let's go. All righty. Well, you know, uh, if you remember last week, uh, one of our viewers, her name is Anna, yes. she emailed Lou, and she, you know what, well, she has a small business, and she wanted to know how... Uh, to make know, a website. How to make a website, exactly. I do remember, yeah. So, well, she's back again. Okay. All right, Anna's a good viewer. All right. So, what she, this time what she wants is basically for us to explain to her what is Office Suite. Okay. And how could she use it in her everyday life how with a business. How could she utilize it for the business. Exactly. Okay. All right. Good so, question. Yeah, it's a really good question. It's going to be really interesting. For sure. All right, so let's start it off. You All know right. what? Office Suite is like a collection of software. Mm -hmm. um, it comes in a package, basically, that have like helped uh, make life efficient for like millions of people around the world. Yeah, definitely. Right. They come in like packages with like word processor, spreadsheet, presentation, there's an email program, mm -hmm. you can build databases, I mean there's everything in there, right? It's almost nothing you can't do. Exactly. And you know what, there's some other features that also come with it such as project management software, okay. uh, you know, information manager and a communication program as well. Great. Um, so you know when all of these are combined and uh, business use these a lot mm -hmm. in their everyday, you know, work workplace. Definitely. Um, but it wasn't like this all the time. Yeah. Right. So let's take a history lesson. All right. You always have the history. I lessons. know. I always do this with you. Okay. But, all right. Uh, all right. So trying to educate me. Yeah. It's, it's interesting history, <laughs> okay. right? Yeah. Uh, so well, t throughout the 20th century, uh, you know, up until the 1980s, everybody mm -hmm. was using like typewriters in businesses. Yeah. Or they were using, you know, old, those old clunky overhead projectors. Right. right? I remember those. They used right. to use them in school all the time. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and that was because there wasn't, you know, the computer wasn't main, mainstream at exactly. that time. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So. What people would do is, you know, they would have the typewriter, they clack in the way, they're clinking away at it. Yeah. And, you know, f it, those things are annoying. Yeah, and, noisy. Oh, man. There was, you know what? Let, let me list you some of the, all right, the cons of that, right? Okay. So, first of all, it was extremely loudly. Yeah. I mean, you could hear this thing a mile away. Sounds like a machine gun. Oh, man. It's, <laughs> yeah, somebody's just clacking yeah, away right? at it, right? Another problem with that was is that there wasn't a hard drive on it. Okay. Okay. Couldn't store anything. Perfect. Exactly. Yeah. So what it yeah, what this means is if you know, if you were typing something at that point in time, you gotta you just do it go, all at once. Exactly, right? you yeah. You couldn't it. go back, change make changes to it, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, that's horrible. Such a yeah. hassle. Eh? We Ex take that so much for oh granted. Oh my god, now. yeah. Like you know, on your computer you just press backspace. Yeah, I'll go back to it later, yeah. fix it. Not a big yeah, deal, right? That's crazy. Uh, another one was that it uh, couldn't print multiple copies, mm -hmm. you know. So if you're printing something, it's only one copy. Right. And then you have to go to the photocopy machine. You got to extra steps. Exactly. Yeah. And you know what? Another big one was that it was just a typewriter. It didn't yeah. have the convenience of the internet. Right. You couldn't right? do your research on it. No. Yeah. yeah whereas you know, if you're compu on a computer, and let's say you know tomorrow you have to write uh, an essay on the BP, uh, the BP oil spill. Okay. Um, and if you have to write it, write it on a typewriter, mm -hmm. you know, you'd have to go to the library, you'd have to You'd have to, to get your research externally, Exactly. Right? Whereas, yeah, you know, if you're sure. writing it on a computer, just jump onto the internet. Hit up Google. Bam. Get some info. Exactly. Get, yeah. All right. Uh, so this is why there was a sudden change, you know, from when the typewriters were being used mm -hmm. to when the computer came in. Yeah, for uh, sure. Because it offered things such as word processor, spreadsheet, you know, ability to b build presentations yeah. without you having to actually, you know, uh, draw it by hand. Do all these separate things. And it things. looks so yeah. much neater. So, oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, people just adapted it so quickly. Yeah, it's great. Right? Yeah. So, you know what? Let's start off with giving you some of the different office suites okay. Uh, okay, and good. that are on the market right now. Perfect. So, number one is Microsoft Office. No surprise there, right? No surprise, right? The basic one. Uh, everybody has it, you know, yeah. I mean, all the major organizations use Microsoft. It's yeah. not it's not a big, you know, secret. No, uh, definitely not. But you know what? It comes with a downside. Yeah, what's that? The downside is it's price tag. I have no, I can't, can't even guess what it costs. What is it? Okay, well, for, for the student version, it's it's 159 bucks. Okay, that's okay. not bad. That's not but if bad. you're getting the professional version, right. it's 669 dollars. Really? Yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot more than a lot of the yeah. laptops these days. I know you can get a laptop for that. Yeah. That's crazy. And you know, there's some downsides to that as well. It doesn't yeah. work on Linux. You know. Okay. Uh, and it's. Yeah, I mean, this is expensive. It's, it's a expensive, lot to pay, and right? uh, today I'm going to tell everybody about free alternatives that are out there. There's free alternatives exactly. to Microsoft Word. Oh, are definitely. You there are oh my so God. many, and I never knew. Uh, yeah, and they they perform the same activities as Microsoft Office. No so. way. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's move on to the second one. It's the Apple iWork. Anybody that has a Mac, Macs yeah, if, are popular nowadays. Exactly, yeah. yeah. I mean, everybody's, you know, it's the hip thing to do. Yeah, it is the you know, cool you, thing you to sit, do. You sit at the Starbucks, you With have your, a little coffee. Yeah, and, your MacBook. Exactly. Yeah, um, 
you know, they also have their own um, office suite. It's called right. Apple iWork. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a lot cheaper than uh, the Microsoft Office. Okay. It's around like 79, 80 bucks. That's pretty reasonable. Right? It's, it's reasonable. It's a good investment, yeah. right? So. But then again, these things don't work on Microsoft or Linux systems as well. Right, okay. Right, so you'd only be stuck on doing it on Just both computers. Just on the computers, one computer, yeah. Right? Okay. Now, the third one we have, and this is my personal favorite. Okay. okay I love this. Uh, and is it because it's free? Oh, it's free. Yeah, I love free I things, it. right? How do you know? <laughs> uh, all right. Well, uh, this is called Open Office. Okay. Okay. And yeah, as I mentioned, I strongly recommend it. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the main reasons is is because it's free. Yeah. Right. Um, I'm always wary of free stuff, though. I feel like no, there's no what? such thing as a free lunch. <laughs> right? Well, no. Let me tell you how it works. Okay. Okay. This Open Office is what's called an open source program. Okay. Okay. Uh, open source pretty much means uh, you know it's created by the input of thousands of people around oh, the world. All right. That's cool. So it's not a bunch of geeks, you know, just sitting in <laughs> in one building and they're working on this, right? It's geeks all over the world. All over the world. Okay. So so they bring their different experiences to board, you know, they right. and uh, basically how it works is that, you know, they they create the they get this and yeah. they they make their changes to it, they add it, they make it better. So they see what works, what doesn't work. And they work. submit it. Okay, and that's someone else cool. takes that, yeah. they make better changes to that and then right. they submit it. So it's and constantly being improved. Exactly. Upon, and the final product yeah. is so much better. Oh cool. All right. So Great. that's how it works. And you know what? This package has a word processor, presentation, I mean spreadsheet, it has everything. Cool. Uh, so yeah, That's once awesome. again, everybody could download this at openoffice.org. Okay, great. And we'll have the link up at the end of the show as well. Awesome. Sounds All good. Right. Now, another one uh, that, that's also an open source is called K-Office. Okay. Okay, and just like open office, it's, it's free, free, works anywhere. Yeah. Same things, uh, you know, it can do the same things that uh, Microsoft Office or mm. Apple iWork can do. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, you know, there's not that much of a difference between the paid ones and the free ones. Yeah, I it's mean, just that, why would you even ever pay for one then, Exactly, right? it's just that nobody, not a lot of people know about it. Yeah, I didn't right? know about it, for So, sure. but that, that's, that's, the, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to raise awareness Educate about. Educate and inform. There Definitely. we go. <laughs> All right. Um, now there's another type of office suites, and mm -hmm. these are called online office suites. Okay. Okay. Um, what it essentially means is that you don't need to download it onto your computer. So it doesn't take up any room. No. You just access it online, right? Perfect. Yeah. Oh, as, okay. as long as you have internet, you know, you jump okay. on the internet and you punch in whatever, which one you want. That's cool. And you know, you can make changes to your documents, do, your, do a yeah. little bit of bookkeeping, create a presentation, everything online. Great. That's so awesome. that's the best thing about that. Cool. Now. One of the really cool ones right now mm -hmm. on the market is called Google Docs. I have heard of this, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a really cool one. You know what's new? And yeah. uh, all you need is a Gmail account. Right. Okay, as long as you have a Gmail account, you just log in. Okay. And, you know, you, you can do everything, create presentations, write a report, whatever. Yeah. Right? Cool. Um, now, there's an open office version of an online office suite, which okay. is called Fang Office. Okay. Uh, you know, it does everything that everything else can do, but, you know, it's an open office, so it's... Yeah created by several thousand people. Okay, Alrighty. that sounds good. Awesome, well thanks so much Abid. You always have a lot of useful topics for us. This is something that I think everybody can relate to. There's definitely such a wide range of choices available too. Oh definitely, exactly, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, usually a lot of people think it's just Microsoft Office, but that's, you have so much. That's exactly what I thought. Okay, stay tuned because after the break, we're going to bring back all our tech hosts to discuss the latest in the world of technology.